How's it going guys? Joshua Lefemi here, live in LA. And we're gonna go over to Sydney, Australia to hear from one of my talented friends, Nick Koo. Nick is literally one of the top people that I look up to in the short form video editing or visual effects world. And in this video, I asked if he could tell me and you guys about his top 10 favorite third-party After Effects plugins. What is a third-party plugin? It's an added on outside piece of software that adds a specific feature to an existing computer program, which in this case is After Effects. But first things first, if you're a video editor, I wanna give you this offer before we start. I'm the only English speaking YouTube channel that's able to give you Envato Elements for free for the first month. Envato Elements is a subscription service that gives you unlimited downloads for some of the most incredible stock footage, VFX packs, Premiere Pro and After Effects overlays, sound effects, royalty-free music, literally anything that you'd need as a video editor. Just by clicking on the link below, you'll automatically get a free first month. And don't worry, you'll see that automatic free coupon for the free first month at the very end after you finish signing up. All right, let's hop over to Nick. Hi guys, my name is Nick and I am a visual effects artist and motion graphics designer from Sydney, Australia. I hope you guys are doing well. Now, I'm gonna go through my top 10 third-party plugins for After Effects. And uh, these are plugins that I've chosen that pretty much get me out of a jam, out of a lot of situations. They solve small but important problems, but in the grand scheme of things, they can really increase your workflow and really help you to get to a final product a lot quicker with a lot of quality. So without further ado, these are my top 10 third-party plugins for After Effects. This plugin just adds a little bit more flair to your shots when they're looking a little bit ordinary. Plus the uh, 3D emitter uh, pretty much can track into anything in your composition. So that was one of the issues I had with the original flare plugin in After Effects is that it's super, well, it's not super hard. With a little bit of expressions, you can kind of get it to pair to any 3D object, but this is already built in. Custom scene builders allows you to basically build your flare as well. So you can edit these really nice anamorphic flares and make it more Michael Bay-esque, or you want to make it more like a sun. There's lots of ways to build your flare, but it just adds that extra little oomph that your shot might need. This plugin, it does one thing and one thing really well, and that is cap your butts on the end of your strokes. Now, what do I mean by that? Well, if you're a motion designer like me, you are dealing with strokes a lot in After Effects, or at least in the shape layers anyway. And so when you, you have to twirl down and twirl, twirl down, down and twirl down, down, down and twirl down, down until you basically get to the cap property in the stroke. And that's super annoying if you've got, you know, a hundred layers of just tons and tons of strokes in it. But the easy way, is to just get this plugin and basically with one button you can just cap your butts. How good is that? Now look, we're all human. We all have slight imperfections in our skin. Sometimes your talent is just looking a little bit tired. Or maybe they're just too wrinkly for your HD camera. I don't know. Maybe their pores are really open that day. Who knows? But what I'm trying to say is Cosmo is here to save your butt. And uh, in a very tasteful way, can well, you can do it in a very untasteful way, but in a, in a tasteful way, you can basically m minimize some of those blemishes, sort of take the focus away from those imperfections in people's skin and make it a little bit more just less distracting. It's funny because once you see how much digital makeup is applied in a lot of TV shows, you never unsee it. And once you realize how simple this tool is, you basically know when people have gone too far with their digital makeup. So. But this is a great tool and it's one of the best digital makeup uh, programs out there. So definitely have it in your toolkit because it will help you a lot with getting your clients to approve stuff. Trap code form. This plugin is uh, pretty much great for one reason. It's you can create a lot of something out of nothing. And that's what's sort of great about this thing. You can just sort of muck around with the elements and start animating with it and throw a couple of expressions on it. And you've got this fantastic moving grid. Or for example, you can throw some uh, 3D object into it and it will just map itself to the 3D object. It's a really fascinating um, plugin because it just allows you to do a lot with very little and it looks great. You can put depth of field on it and it just looks spectacular. Once you know form exists, you start realizing it pops up in everything. And the reason why is because it looks awesome. So get this in your tool bag. You will not regret it. It's something you'll use a lot.
Video Copilot Sabre. Now, I'm I'm obviously gonna, there's a few Video Copilot ones in here, so just be warned, but there's a lot of free tools that Andrew Kramer puts up and they are brilliant. The granddaddy of all video, of basically uh, video tutorials. And he put up this one, which is really amazing, um, which is Video Copilot Sabre. It allows you to basically make lightsabers really easily with two points, but it also allows you to take text and uh, animate those as well. It allows you to do take shapes and animate those. It's a very multi-purpose plugin and it does a lot of things that you wouldn't expect to do. They just went over the top in terms of what you can do with it. There's tons of tutorials that he's put out there for you. Yeah, it's a free plugin, guys, so just get it. Even if you don't need it, just get it. You might use it. And lightsabers, am I right? Trap code particular, this thing has been around for a long time, as, as long as I've been using After Effects. And uh, this thing is super powerful. It is the OG particle system for After Effects and it can do a lot of things. I'm always still surprised at how powerful this thing is. You can, uh, it is a 3D emitter as well, custom sprite particles, interactive light systems. This, plug, this plugin can do a lot more than it says on the box. I'm always surprised at what I can pull off with particular. And uh, you'll be surprised too if you really get into it. It's got so many things that you can muck around with and you can you can vary. The particles can have a lot of behavior. You can have behaviors on behaviors. You can have particles coming out of particles. It's deep, man. It is a great particle system. You need it. Duick is a script that I found maybe a few years ago when I was making my first, one of my first animated short films that went viral, which was all pretty awesome. But one of the things that was really great about it is you're able to rig an IK in After Effects super easy. And um, that is a big deal because there isn't any other way to do it essentially, not without a lot, a lot of scripting. And this guy's done all the heavy lifting for you. You just put the script into your um, into After Effects. It docks as a panel and you can just rig things exactly like how the pros do it. And you'll love it. It's free. It's got a lot of other tools as well, but the IK rig alone is worth this download. The next plugin I want to talk about is Motion. I have version two, but there is a version three that's already out, which I haven't used. So full disclaimer, I don't really know what the new version is like, but if version three is anything like version two, you need this plugin. Mostly it, it saves you so much time. It has a really intuitive graph editor that helps you ease your keyframes in a direction that you want them to go. And uh, it has some nice clone tools. It also has this really nice anchor repositioning tool as well. It's just got a lot of really neat tricks in there that only require you to push one button to get a really great result. You could be spending time in a graph editor trying to move things around or trying to get the precise movements of things. But with this uh, plugin, you're able to just dial in the movement that you really want. And that's what I really love about this is that I can get some really nice results without having to do too much button pressing, which is why I think this deserves to be in your plugins toolbox. Video Copilot FX Console, possibly the unsexiest one on this list because it doesn't really create any effects per se, but you need it. You need it because it makes your workflow so much faster. Look at this. If you want to go and get an effect in After Effects, you have to go to the effects panel. You have to type in what you're looking for or twirl down through all the menus, and then you have to drag it and pull it in. But with FX Console, all you have to do is press control and space bar. It automatically pulls up a search menu and then you just type in a few letters of the effect you're looking for and it already pops up and you just drag it straight on. It saves you so much time and once you get used to that workflow, you are surprised that you did it the other way for such a long time. When you need that stuff, it's great. If you need a particular preset all the time and you want it to be uh, a preset that you use a lot, a lot of the time, you can type your own shortcut and bring it straight into your scene. It saves all the presets for you. It's such a time saver. You need this. If you don't have it, you're crazy. And finally, Video Copilot Element. Now this one's a big one. It's not cheap, but it is definitely the best one and probably the best value for money in my opinion on this list, even though it's a little bit more pricey. Um, it is a 3D engine that runs inside After Effects that allows you to import 3D items and also create 3D text. Now the 3D text alone, in my opinion, is worth the price of admission. 
But the fact that you can do so much more, you can create some very, very realistic looking renders in After Effects and comp them with your elements in After Effects as well. So I, I, it's really powerful. I'm always surprised at what you can do with this plugin, but I think you need it basically. If you're a visual effects artist, you need this plugin because it just helps you with your workflow so much more. The fact that you can work with 3D artists, get them to send your 3D objects and so you can put it into the scene, amazing stuff. And you can muck around with it. You know, you don't even need them to bake the frames. You can just get them to pass the 3D model over to you. And then you can just muck around with them there. Pretty cool, huh? Thanks for listening, guys. I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, if you have any questions, please drop me a line or drop Josh a line if you want to see more of this. Well, just let Josh know. Anyway, guys, thanks for listening and I'll see you next time. Thanks so much for watching, guys. And remember to sign up for your free month of Envato Elements below. And remember to keep it chill.